first two, the first three years, I see those signs, but I keep on making excuses. Say, oh, it get better. This woman says she walked away from her marriage and a blended family where her now ex-husband had abused her emotionally, mentally, and financially. He always asked me why, how I'm using my money. And uh, where when I get something for myself, he said, well, I don't need it. Domestic violence is not just physical violence. Dr. Judy Postmas founded and directs the Center on Violence Against Women and Children at Rutgers University. She studied the impact of a financial literacy course created by the Allstate Foundation and the National Network to End Domestic Violence. Her study evaluated how domestic violence survivors manage their finances after taking the course. And what we found was the curriculum had a significant and lasting Im impact. Dr. Postman says she found that 90% of the course takers created a budget, 86% set their financial goals. 71% knew how to invest in savings through bonds, mutual funds, and stocks, as opposed to just 17% knowing beforehand. And so all of this financial information um, allows women um, to be more confident as they think about um, their options about leaving an abusive relationship. I think I can make it without him. This woman says lack of financial literacy and living in denial kept her from leaving abuse, as her ex kept an iron grip on her money and shielded her from knowing what he was doing with his. She says she got so accustomed to her ex and his adult children's verbal and emotional abuse that it took a social worker whom the ex had called to recognize she was the abused and gave her an ultimatum. If I don't leave this environment, they will take my child away from me. She says that propelled her to take her only child with her ex and to leave. That victim of abuse came here to the Jersey Battered Women's Service about a year ago. She was desperate, confused, and with no confidence. I didn't know that I have a voice. I didn't know that I have strength. Jersey Battered Women's Service and many other nonprofits teach financial literacy and more. And the financial literacy, as they call it, what, what difference is that making? A whole big, 100%. Even the thousand percent. <laughs> yes, Kim, coming to this place, I have no penny. Keep on asking them for diaper for my daughter. But today, I have a chunk of some in my account. And she's gainfully employed in the medical profession and eager to go back to school. It's really quite important to be able to know those fundamentals and to um, try to repair those things once they come into the program that maybe was once lost. Not knowing where the money is going, how much is coming in, how much is being spent, not having those conversations with your significant other can leave somebody without knowing that they might even have finances available to be able to make it on their own. Dr. Postmas encourages women, especially those still with an abusive partner, to secretly save money in their own name, collect details of their finances, and pay close attention to their credit scores, among other tips. Postman says financial literacy is so empowering, schools should teach it to teenagers. Michael Hill, NJTV News.